Hey, what's up guys? So what do you do when you go over your macro count? Pretty much yesterday, I went over my count. Actually for breakfast, I ate about 1700 calories and I wasn't supposed to eat, but it's Friday and um, my, my friend asked me to go out and um, um, I was craving pizza, so I got pizza. But normally my calories, they're pretty, pretty low or normal throughout the week. And um, I essentially ate around uh, like 3,500 calories for that day. And my, my carb level, it was pretty high. It was, uh, it was around 300. So I'm um, actually total was around 4,000 4, calories, 200 grams of protein, about 200 grams of fat, and then 340 grams of carbs. And this morning I weighed myself, I was the same, uh, 163.4. So uh, whatever you guys are doing, uh, you should track your, your weight, your macros. You could track your water if you want your sleep. You could get a smartwatch. Um, I haven't done it yet. But if, if you're tracking like stuff like your workout, you could see progress. You could see like what you did in the past. And then, for example, if I, if I went over yesterday, Friday, uh, for today, I, I didn't eat or drink anything pretty much. And it's about 2, 2 p.m. on a Saturday. And I'm, I weigh around uh, 162. I'm probably a little dehydrated right now. But here you guys for sure. Andre, just track your progress and, and what you're doing. So pre pretty much I have my macros, if I worked out or not, uh, what, what plan I'm on, if I'm on easy, moderate, or challenging. Oh, also, when, when you, that's kind of annoying. It's a pain to have to track your macros because this morning, I ate everything that I was supposed to eat for that day. And then later on that night, um, I ate like pizza, cheese sticks, and then salad. And then I had to like track all of the stuff. So the calories, the protein, the carbs, the fats. So it's more work. If, if you want to stuff your face, it's more work. Actually, I had a boba too. So I'll, I'll add on like, I'll, I'll, I'll add on another thousand. But keep, keep in mind that, uh, um, I walked and I ran for nine miles, so that's about a thousand. That that's probably like, you know, a boba pretty much. So I'll just add on another thousand, to my total. So I'll just say that on Friday I ate about five thousand calories. So that that means for today, that means that I don't need to eat anything because I ate two two days worth of calories, or three days worth of calories. So technically, I don't need to eat Saturday and Sunday because I ate already. And that, that's, how you, that's how you can ride the waves. And if, if you went over your, your caloric intake, you could try and walk, you could try and uh, work out more, drink water, try not to drink your calories. But if, if you need to cheat, then, then cheat. Like if, if you're craving something like pizza, eat it, eat as much as you want. And then when you feel bad, and then you come back to baseline. So there, this is uh, this is a blip. So one well, one day is no problem in a month, but one well, one day you know in a week it could be a problem, because you you could for sure gain a lot of weight if if you're dieting you know eighty percent of the time and then that, that one day you're you're binging it's not good to do that. So sh shuffle things around, make sure you balance it out. That that pizza was not good. I actually went to uh, to Blaze Pizza, and then. I was only gonna eat the, the salad, the entree salad, it was a Greek salad, and then I had cheese sticks. And then my friend, she got a pizza, and then I ate half of her pizza, so. I was, I was probably under, under counting when I calculated everything up, so I, I just put another thousand, and um, that, that's what's up. So my, my weight, it pretty much stayed the same. And just say, for example, if, if I ate a whole Pizza Hut pizza, right? It's about a thousand, 3,000 calories because I looked it up because I was going to order it earlier on this week, but I didn't do it because it's so calorie dense. I could eat a Costco, Costco pizza in one sitting. It took me like 20 minutes to kill. But anyways, so I, I would eat all of those calories and then my body, it would want to go back to baseline. So it's going to ramp up my metabolism and then it's going to go back. Same, same thing as if uh, you're not eating enough, your metabolism, it will slow down so that you can maintain your, your homeostasis, your balance.
So another thing that I was thinking about was uh, in 24 hours, right? In a day, you have 24 hours. In a week, you have 168 hours. So you would essentially need to budget your time that you're going to be spending doing things. And if, if you know you have to do something, for example, not to make cue cards for, for Spanish, that I'm, I would put it on my calendar of what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it. So I'm actually going to work out a little bit more and then I'm going to go to Barnes & Nobles to, to study. I'm, I'm trying to finish up the Spanish book. I, it's a PDF. I got it online for free. And I'll also for your calories, if uh, you're eating 2,000 calories a day, then that's 14,000 calories a week. So just say, for example, if I ate 5,000 yesterday, then I have 9,000 calories left for the rest of the week. So... Uh, make sure you budget properly and try and stick to the budget because uh, once you negotiate everything, it's in the plan. So um, try not to deviate away from the plan if you can. But if, if, if you have ups and downs, don't don't even trip on it. It, it is what it is. And and another thing, uh, my my friend like two two of my friends they wanted to hang out with me, but then I knew I had to work out. I knew I had to study. I already walked, I did about maybe 7,000, 8,000 steps already. And I'll most likely run later too. And I'll probably work out again later too to try and get rid of the, the pizza that I ate. It's kind of punishment, right? Where if, if you know you're cheating on your diet, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna work out more. So you're, you're essentially gonna be earning everything that you're putting in your mouth. So don't, don't let people monopolize your time. When, when you know you, you're busy, you know, they know that you have stuff to do. And so sometimes they could guilt, guilt trip you into it. And it's like, if, if you structure everything out in your calendar, then you, you know when you have to do things, why you have to do them. And you know, it, it just makes it easier when you plan things out. Don't be too available for people, especially if they don't um, share your interests. And also for like snowflake type of people, I personally don't like associating with them because if, if it's not a yes, then it's a no. Like may, maybe it, it means no. So they, these kinds of people, you, you just block them away. They're, they're not worth your time. Um, another book that I just started reading was uh, The Reality Trans Surfing. And it's written by Vadim Zeeland. And... I just started it, so I'm not 100% sure what it's about. But just say, for example, if this is a pendulum, right? So you, you imagine that this is like your life. And if, if, if you're trying to push something away, you're trying to run away from something, it's going to come back to you. It always comes back, right? And then if, if you're trying to gravitate towards something like, oh, I want a purple belt or whatever, right? You're, you're trying to obtain it and you're trying to force it, it will go away. You just make it harder by putting out negative energy and the book is also saying that just say for example if i'm going on a drive i should envision that i'll have a good drive because most of the time i always have good drives but i mean it, it, it's something that you, you you should envision don't expect it but accept it when it does come because you, you you know that whenever you're thinking about negative things most of the time it doesn't happen so uh, more focus on the positive aspects of life. Um, just say, for example, for a bonus or a raise, if you guys are working, if I get it, I get it. If I don't get it, it's all good. Uh, I don't need it. And I will be happy regardless if I get it or not. It's like when I was trying to, to talk to my team, I pretty much said that, you know, if you're working right now, you should be blessed because there's a lot of people that just got laid off. So try your best at work, you know, stay on point and be blessed. I appreciate the little things that you have, like water, you know, heat, shelter. Certain people, they don't have these basic essentials. And you're, you're, you know when you, you hurt your knee or you hurt your back and then you can go to the gym and then you, you just take these things for granted, you know? And so, sometimes I see certain people, they take their parents for granted and, you know, that's not, that's not proper. So I'll always respect people and always cherish them, always see the good, Parts of them. So same, going back to the pendulum example is uh, if you try to uh, to push a dog away, he's always going to come at you.
because dogs they're friendly you know they, they love everyone but if you try to chase a cat that cat you won't see that cat anymore <laughs> you, you have to wait for the cat to come to you essentially so just, just wait for things to gravitate towards you and it, it'll make you more attractive it'll make you more relaxed and more calm and try try not to uh you, you are who you associate with essentially so try try not to uh associate with lower level people i know this sounds arrogant but it is what it is their, their behaviors can rub off of you and if, if you think of yourself to have high standards then it's kind of gonna it's gonna annoy you so it, it's better just you know don't don't think about them at all well whatever they're, they're doing it's not your business it's not your business to think about them or to judge them because you can't judge somebody based on your criteria you can only judge them based on their criteria so always be improving yourself always try to add value and you'll be attracting prizes in the future and just put in work stay consistent stay dedicated that if i could do it you could do it i, I believe in you guys because i saw it before there, there are a couple people where I, I trained them at work they lost 20 or 30 pounds wow one guy he just walked daily morning afternoon dinner time and he ate once a day and he dropped 30 pounds and I've actually worked with this person many years. Three jobs I work with them. And I noticed that because they give snacks and all this drinks and all that at the tech companies. And I told them, you know, you're gaining weight, right? And then I, I said it sincerely because I wanted to help him. And then I knew he, he shouldn't have looked like that. But, you know, I, I, I got him down in weight. And then another guy, uh, we, we pretty much went, you know, to the gym during lunchtime after work and then he, he got the weight down, he started to diet and he started to look really lean and calm. So the, the book, I think that it was also saying, uh, don't give away your attention and your energy freely. So don't don't think about people if, they don't, if they're not, you know, building you up, they're not helping you. So you, you essentially have to erase them from your mind. Cause you essentially, you don't have time to think about someone else cause you, you have so much work to do on yourself. It's like I, I was thinking this morning, I had to come home and then I, I brush my teeth, skincare, shower, you know, comb, comb your hair, deodorant, like little, little stuff like that, right? And, and then I have to study, I have to work out, I have to clean, I have to do all of this stuff. So you, you should be so busy that you don't have time to criticize someone else on. If they're worthy, then they could get your time and attention. But if they're not, uh, just, just stay away from them. Your your future self will thank you if, if you're putting in the work on. One, one of my friends said, yeah, you know, the nine-year-old version would be proud of me right now. And it's true. You know, I'm, I'm proud of myself right now that I'm trying to change. I'm trying to put in the work that you, you want to stand out in a good way. You don't want to stand out in a bad way. Um, another thing that I was thinking was uh, you, you, you want to be able to have your shirt off. And they will keep you accountable. And I was I was watching like the Bar Stars, the Hannibal guy, and he he's like amazing. He 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 looks cool. He's mad strong. And I I, I thought that it was cool that he he always worked out without a shirt because he's his advertisement, right? That it keeps him it keeps him in check on point. Oh, always be doing things that will give you the best return on your investment. That will help you become a better person. So again, it, it doesn't matter if it's a friend, family member, stranger. If they're not helping you, they got to go. Try try to minimize your, your time with these people if you can. And if people want to leave, you, you can hold the door open for them. If, if you think you could do better than me, that's all good. You can leave. That's no problem. And, and th this is going to sound kind of arrogant too. It's like there, there are certain people where they could be beneath you. And it sounds arrogant, but everybody is on their level trying to do the best that they can. And that if you, if I were to reflect on myself when I was in nursing school, right? I was at the, my all time low. That I wasn't working. I was in a lot of debt. I was in a lot of trouble. I suffered from depression. I barely passed nursing school. I passed by like a quarter of a point. And you know, you don't do it alone. Your, your teachers are there. Your students, your classmates are there to help you. So 
th things happen for a reason. When, when you look back on your life and you see all of the bad things that happen to you, they will help you grow. All of these interactions, these experiences, they will help you become a better person, a stronger person. I right, hope you guys have a good Saturday. Please like, share, subscribe, comment in the description. Um, comment down below and let me know what other content that you want me to create. And I'll, I'll check you guys later.